Hello. Been a while. Uh. Are there no sound alerts? Have I tested everything except the sound alerts? Are the sound alerts not, alerts not working? There it is. There's a delay. It's fine. That's fine. As long as they get here eventually. As long as they get here eventually, that's okay. And the cat is immediately going, oh my god, he's not done this in weeks. He's not streamed in ages. It has been... How long has it actually been? How long has it actually been? Let me get this. Let me get this. Let me get this. Like, let me get this. Let me, let me, let me, let me look at this number before we move on. And then we will live our lives happier. I last streamed on the 15th of October. I last streamed on the 15th of October. It has got to the point that actually, as of tomorrow, that VOD will be automatically deleted. I got the Rona, everybody. I got the Rona. And I did post in a few places so everybody know where I, where, knew where I'd gone. So I hope anybody in chat wasn't, like, didn't think I just abandoned what the hell ever the hell this is. But I got the Rona. And um, we've had such a wonderful time. Like, such a wonderful time. Coronavirus in 2024. I can't recommend it. I am fully vaccinated, which is a massive benefit. It's not a benefit, because obviously we would much prefer Dolly Whiskers to be not chronically ill. But one of the benefits of being Dolly Whiskers' effectively full-time carer is that I qualify for boosters. Um, so I am fully vaccinated. I've got my, I've got, I've got my various boosters. Um, and supposedly... That makes the experience of coronavirus slightly better. And I think I can hear a change in your voice. I am... It's a time. It is honestly a time. I have... This is the second illest I've ever been. And I got... I got the... I came back from university once and got the flu. And I was out of action for like two weeks with the flu. I couldn't get out of bed. That's the worst, that's the illest I've ever been. Um, I, I physically couldn't get out of bed. This, we were marginally functional, but I have never experienced anything like the urge to just sleep all the time. Like, headaches, coughing, the various the various nine yards, but the, the, the sleeping, I am, and still I'm unrested. So here we are. Um, I'm back. It's me, right, Big Chimpkin. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. I did miss absolutely everybody. I tried to pop into everybody's streams as much as physically possible. I tried to jump up and down in our Discord to make you know that we were both myself and Dolly Whiskers, because of course Dolly Whiskers tested positive, because we live in a shoebox. We don't live in a shoebox. We're very lucky to live in the flat that we do. But uh, inevitably, Dolly Whiskers got ill, so we were exceedingly careful exceedingly careful to make sure they were okay uh, one one night the emergency services were called because dolly's lips were turning blue um it didn't turn out to be nearly as dramatic as that sounds they basically gave her a one them over they basically gave them a one over and sort of said look it's 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 an it's it's probably just a reaction to everything that's going on in your body right now but their lips were turning blue and it, it was what like 6 30 at night and we were sort of like oh that's probably an ambulance isn't it because there's all sorts of don't google lips turning blue I don't recommend lips turning blue as a thing that you should google because it was ass cancer it wasn't ass cancer but still um we called the emergency services one night they came out they checked dolly over um they sort of did the whole blood blood test and like don't google any medical stuff it's always ass cancer yeah every single time not ass cancer yeah hi jura welcome in um i'm gonna whiz through chat and we're gonna play some tgg card simulator and you're gonna you're gonna talk to me and we're gonna see if i'm even capable of doing this i had my first day back at work today as well i had a solid week of sick i took two emergency days holiday the monday and the tuesday and then had the rest of the week sick and i never do that i never have a full i never have a weekend to weekend ill like if i take a day off sick from work it's like a day and then i'm back at the office there's a lot and the, as soon as i started as soon as i started cancelling as soon as i started cancelling my streams i knew it was a big deal because i think i really wanted to finish the rat game on the friday and i was that was the first day i was showing symptoms and i was not in a good way 
Either way. Let's whiz through chat. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Hello, everybody. I would just like to point out that I am testing anonymous follows for the first time ever. Um, you can question me as much as you like about why I have done that, because honestly, I would like it to be a discussion but we're just going to see if it makes any level of difference to how things move forward um if you want to do it on your own channels because i know that there's a bunch of content creators in the community we can talk about it in private and why i've made this decision to make my follows anonymous but in the meantime um yeah that's it uh let's just test a few things to make sure like we are flying in like flying straightforwardly so for the first time in like 15 days can everybody stand for the national anthem Okay, that still works. That's fine. Good. Okay, moving forward. And this cat is being so... You're being so awkward right now. What are you doing? Like, you're sitting in a weird direction that you've never sat before, and I'm sliding you around. Can we get... We'll do the treat for George first, because otherwise he's... He, he might leave. Da, da, da. Okay, let's do this, because he might he might leave me if we do the treat. That's five. I remember how to do this. Five treats every visit. 20 per stream. That's it. There you go. That's George, and he likes to shake hands. And there we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Why am I talking to myself? Come on, take it. You missed this? We have been feeding him while I've not been streaming. We do feed this cat while I'm not streaming, just to clarify. In case anybody was concerned in the community, we do we do 100% feed this cat whilst I'm not live. Um, Sanguine, congratulations on the first. The first of many, now that I will never leave... Sa Sanguine. Sanguine, look directly into my eyes, right? Sanguine, I will never leave you again, okay? I mean, I can't really hold myself to that, but Sanguine specifically... I will never leave you again. Um, moving forward. Uh, Captain Orca, welcome and I hope you're having a good day. Sanguine ND, a curry frog shows up at your door before you can make sense of what's happening. A copy of A Mind of Its Own, A Culturary History of the Penis. There we go. We got a book about penises, finally. I knew they were in there. Why am I up here now? I knew they were in there. Like, we knew this was coming. We, like we knew this was coming the penises were on their way um let's let's have a look about a book a, a book about penises shall we um yeah a mind of its own a culture history of the penis david m friedman <coughs> i would like to point out i am still without going into a lots of gory detail i am still coughing like a boss so if the coughing gets a little bit much please let me know and i will mute when i do it whether an whether enemy or ally demon or god the penis is much more than a body part here in an enlightening and entertaining cultural study is a book that puts into context the central role of the penis within the western civilization deified by ancient pagan cultures and demonized by the early roman church the penis was later sec secularized by pioneering an anatomy such as Leonardo da Vinci. After being measured scientifically in an effort to subjugate some races while elevating others, the organ was psychoanalyzed by Sigmund Freud. Now, after being politicized by fem feminism and exploited in countless ways by pop culture, Friedman shows how the arrival of an ere of erection industry products such as Viagra is more than a health or business story. It is the latest chapter in one of the longest sagas in human history, the story of a man's relationship with his penis. <laughs> Gabby, thank you for the follow and uh, thank you for the subscription. Welcome, thank you. Nice to see you, Gabby. Hope you have a good day. Tato as well. Grim Welcome has back. been nesting with us for seven months. Welcome Woo. in, Tato. I missed you too. I missed everybody, honestly. I did try and check in in as many as places as possible, but there were some people that I just didn't like connect with. So welcome back, everyone. Dolly Whiskers, a curry frog shows up at your door before you can make sense of what's happening. A copy of The Psychopath Desk, a journey through the madness industry. The madness industry? Kara, would you say you worked for the... Ka Ka Happily ever, Kara. Do you work for the madness industry? Is that what is that what we're calling it now? In this madcap journey, a best-selling journalist investigates psychopaths in the industries of doctors, scientists, and everyone who studies them. The Psychopath Desk is a fascinating journey through the minds of madness. 
Uh, John Ronson. John Ronson sounds like Ron Johnson. I feel like it should be the other way around. Sanguin, thank you for the thing. Is that? Is that? Did I turn that back? Hooray! Sanguin Endy has been nesting with us for six months. Kim, I would just like to take a moment and thank you for coming back. I'm happy you have taken the time necessary to heal, and I have missed you. Thanks for being so awesome, and I'm looking forward to more streams with you. Sanguine, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Ignore that cough. That cough was me drowning in my tears. Um, thank you. Honestly, I was so scared to come, but I was so I was so irrationally nervous to go live today. You have no idea absolutely no idea i ha i never have well i do i have had that problem before but absence from doing this is really strange like uh, this is the longer i would like to say this is the longest break in streaming i've had in the two years that i've been doing it and i can understand that weird mental block people have now where they don't do it for a little while and then that first time to hit go you're just sort of like this feels really I remember this feeling good. What's going on? It, and now I'm back, and it, and it, and it, you know, we're back. We're in. And things are happening. Sanguin with the ten gifted subs. Hype Surprise. train started. Sanguin Endy is spreading the love like chicken feed, gifting ten subscriptions to the community. Sanguin, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Captain Orca, thank you very much for the bits. How do I do this again? Luxury pigeon. 15 days break. It's about, we'll call it 15. It's more like 13, but we'll say 15. 15 days break from this shit, and I don't know how this works anymore. Um, Sanguine ND, we love you. No, no, Sanguine. We love you. Uh, anyway. Um, I'm a bit croaky. Luxury Pigeon, welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, we're just doing my... I need to get I need to get back into the rhythm, guys. I need to get back into the rhythm. I need to keep reading whatever's going on in this psychopathy book. The Psychopath Test is a fascinating journey through the minds of madness. John Ronson's exploration of a potential hoax being played on the world's top neurologist takes him, unexpectedly, into the heart of the madness industry. An influential psychologist who is convinced that many important CEOs and politicians are, in fact, psychopaths, teaches Ronson how to spot... Uh, what? An influential, psych an influential psychologist who is convinced that many important CEOs and politicians are, in fact, psychopaths, comma, teaches Ronson how to spot these high-flying individuals by looking out for, a, for little telltale verbal and nonverbal cues. And so Ronson, armed with his new psychopath spotting abilities, enters the corridors of power. He spends time with a, with a dead squad leader institutionalized for mortgage fraud in Coxsackie, New York. Cox Coxsackie, New York sounds like a fake place. A legendary CEO whose psychopathy has been speculated about in the press and a patient in an asylum for the criminally insane who insists he's sane and certainly not a psychopath. I mean, that one sounds terrifying. Happily have a car, thank you in. I would like to take this opportunity for the first time in several days. Remind you that the community channel point redeem is still going. I extended it. So usually it takes about 30 days to complete um, because it was like around 15 days that I was away. I've extended it 15 additional days. So there is plenty of time to still achieve the community redeem. Spend your channel points wisely. They will be refunded at the end of that period. It's all about saving. It's all about teaching you unnecessarily li has the life skills. Ah, oh, sanguine, sanguine, sanguine. Happily ever Kara. A courier frog shows up at your door before you can make sense of what's happening. A copy of Breakfast, a history of he sorry, Breakfast, a history. Heather Aunt Anderson. We will eventually get to training cards, everybody. Really, I should do these intros and just chatting, but I'm lazy and it's my first time back after being ill. So we're not, it's not gonna to touch on that. Breakfast, a history tells the story of how breakfast came to be the most important meal of the day. From the humble Roman times of stale bread soaked in diluted wine to the drive through McMuffin boom of the 1970s, breakfast takes the reader on a lively adventure through time, uncovering the real stories behind our favorite breakfast foods. Breakfast is not just the meal that gets us going in the morning, but a driving force in history, forever altering the lives of peasants and kings alike. Inspiring great works of art and even changing the way we build our homes. Did you build your home? 
Luxury pigeon. You gave a gift sub to Craig David? Peep peep. Luxury <coughs> pigeon has gifted a tier one subscription to Craig David. It's Craig David. I, I don't, I get the impression Craig David the human doesn't like that impression based on, I've seen news articles about him absolutely despising that impression of him from um, avid Merriam with the pit. With the, he's got a seagull. What's the seagull called? Because you've been gone several days. Craig David. Yes, yes. He, there's a there's a avid Merriam does an impression of Craig David with a big chin, and he's also he'd love it here. Really, I. This is my claim to fame. We used to have a family friend who worked in the super drug that Craig David's mother used to work in. That's my claim to fame. And that might narrow down. Well, actually, no, that doesn't, you know, that doesn't tell you much about me personally, because who's actually going to Google that? Or, it, it, well, again, this might be one of those stories that we were told and wasn't actually true, but where, does everybody remember when everything was about Craig David? Like, I feel like there was a period in history where everybody was like, you know, Craig David. And again, Daniel Bedingfield. Daniel Bedingfield. Live train complete. Level four, forty-eight percent. Your commuters. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate it. You do not have to do that. I don't know who that. You don't know who Daniel Pudingfield is. Daniel Pudingfield. I don't really know who he is, but he was a musician and he sung a famous song that completely escapes me now. I can't remember. Mm, breakfast. Breakfast. Sanguine. Welcome in. I'm just I'm just reading out people's names as we go. Captain Orca. I've met I don't know who Craig David is. You don't know who Craig David is. How do you not know who Craig David is? You must know who Craig I can't I'm, I can't go on any website. This is Craig David. Do you not are you honestly telling me you don't know who Craig David is? He sung Seven Days, Don't You Love... I can't think of a... I can't think of a single song that he sung. Famously, Natasha Bedenkfield's brother, also singer. Nope, don't know. He was very popular for about 15 minutes and then coasted off the fact that he was very popular for about 15 minutes. Like, all of these songs, right, were out between... Oh my god, he's producing music in 2022? All of his popular songs were like the 2000s. At least that's what I remember it. But either way, Craig David, what a captain of industry. Um, captain Orca, a carrier frog shows up at your door. Before you can make sense of what's happening, a copy of the Victorian internet, the remarkable story of the telegraph and the 19th century online pioneers. So apparently the Victorians had the internet. I don't believe it. What does this tell us? I don't, I don't believe it. Uh, for centuries, people communicated across great distances, only as quickly as the fastest ship or horse could travel. Generations of innovators tried and failed to develop speedier messaging devices. But in the mid-1800s, a few extraordinary pioneers at last succeeded. Their invention, the electronic, te the electric telegraph, shrank the world more quickly than ever before. I mean, we wouldn't be here without it, so, you know, I don't think... I don't think Twitch would exist without the invention of the telegraph, so that's, you know. Congratulations, those people that made that thing that time. <laughs> Drunk Degenerates, welcome in. Drunk Degenerates, a car frog shows up at your door before you can make sense of what's happening. A copy of Packing for Mars, the curious science of life in the void. Uh, it smacks you across the face. Sometimes I feel I forget to actually read that entire sentence. Uh... America's funniest science writer explores the irresistibly strange universe of life without gravity in this New York Times bestseller. The best-selling author of Stiff and Bonk explores the irresistibly strange universe of space travel and life without gravity, from the space shuttle training toilet to a crash test of NASA's new space capsule. Mary Roach takes us on the surrealing, entertaining trip into the science of life in space and space on Earth. I mean, fair. Okay, we'll take it. I, again, I'm not seeing anything particularly interesting that I would want to read. Also, I've yet to see a five. 
watched. Do we not get perfect scores on this website? This was decided by Dolly Whiskers. Does it not happen? Where is the bearded man? I'm right here, Sanguine. I'm testing anonymous follows. If anybody is like, I'm doing the non, I'm doing the anonymous follow thing. I'm catching up with my own messages. I am not catching up with chat. The holy shit, you've said a lot. Dolly Whiskers, Drunk, Captain Orca, Hablet Sat. I'm just saying the same names over and over again. MX Phoenix, right? Phoenix, thank you for the quiet hello, and I'm making it. I'm making this quiet hello really loud. Ah, oh, Jura, thank you for the contribution to the channel points. Sanguine, don't Google that. Drunk degenerates, don't Google if any medical stuff. It's always ass cancer. Hundred percent, always ass cancer. Um, Jura, welcome in. Uh, Jura, uh, I had a really nice time watching your art stream earlier. I hope you enjoyed it too and got all of your work done. I did not see the end. I got busy with work. Um, we're back. We're, we're, we've caught up with the George summoning. Um. Drunk, I was about to ask, did he get any food when you didn't stream constantly? Because you know what happened as soon as I stopped streaming? He continued to show up. Like, I would be sat in my chair, just sort of like this, with the coronavirus, unable to move, and he would climb on the desk and yell directly into my face. It was, it was quite the time. It was quite the time to be alive. Okay, we're catching up. Phoenix, a curry frog shows up at your door before you can make sense of what's happening. A copy of the code book, The Science of Secrecy, from the ancient Egypt to quantum cryptography. This sounds like a, this sounds like a, like a page turner if ever I've seen one. Who's being the best nursemaid? Yes, we have been, all joking aside, I would like to take this opportunity to say Dolly Whiskers has also been ill, is also chronically ill. We've taken care of each other pretty well, I think. Like Dolly, Dolly very rarely gets time to take care of me because I'm too busy taking care of them. And um, Dolly Whiskers was very good. And I think I was so very good in return, but the best nurse in the entire house, George the cat. Like he would, he would walk around the room. He would check on you. He would yell in your face. He would demand food all the time. He would. We would be both lied in bed, sort of staring at the ceiling, unable to move. And this cat would come and like his his bare belly on your face. Like any other time, I'd probably take that as a good thing because his belly does smell great. But when I can't already breathe very well, um, getting a cat to the face is a little much. Uh, in his first book since the best-selling Fermat's Enigma, Simon Singh offers the first sweeping history of encryption, tracing its evolution and revealing the dramatic effects codes have had on wars, nations, and individual lives. From Mary Queen of Scots trapped by her own code to the Navajo code talkers who helped the Allies win World War II to the incredible and in incredibly simple logistical breakthrough that made internet commerce secure. The code book tells the story of the most powerful intellectual weapon ever known. Secrecy. The penis book slaps you across the face. Yeah, no, don't slap people with your penis. More like a new brain, more hours in the day, less work I'm drowning in. I had lots of food today and just want to sleep, but work. What a fortunate letter placement. Um, we don't listen to Freud. Gabby Grimm! I've caught up. Stuff is happening. Gabby, again, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Tato, I did miss you. Welcome in and thank you for the contribution. Kind of point. Redeem. All good. I've been busy with the hell that is moving. Gabby, congratulations on moving and congratulations on surviving the move. It's a big deal. Danguin, thank you for the gifted subs and the kind message. We're catching up. Aha, now I don't deal with psychosis anymore, but I did. Sanguine with the gifted subs to Myaldra, Ghost of EX, Mushi Mallow, Eddie Vaselini, Phenamine, Karma Q, Stuffenheimer, Commander Dupe, Dimox79, and Silly Lil Guy. Just a silly little guy. Um, how do I do this again? Luxury Pigeon. You know who has been, like, not other people have streamed, but I never got to give them the chance. I never got, I never got the chance to say this to them. Luxury Pigeon has had a holiday, like a week's holiday, the week that I was recovering from COVID. And holy shit, that man is entertaining. You should go drop him a follow because he kept me and Dolly Whiskers sane on very, to varying degrees. It was, it was a good week with Luxury Pigeon streaming as much as they did. We love you both. Sanguine, thank you. Uh, Tato, thank you. As much as I'd like to stick around for some more of my play date in a couple of moments, pretending to be Space Horse with a friend, you'll take care. Drunk, thank you for the hydrate and hanging out. Luxury Pigeon, thank you for the gifted sub. We're catching up. We're catching up. We're up to about, we're up to the Craig David bit. 
we're up to the correct i think craig david was a niche uk singer I promise no idea didn't make it overseas he didn't oh i recognize seven days he was being his best nursemaid okay we've caught up there was a quote added getting a cat to the face is a little much i might actually get that book and go I am I'm actively sweaty from reading that opening. Is this a good idea? I am going to go to the toilet. It's not a problem before anybody Dolly Whiskers I'm looking at you is jumping up and down in the corner going is he okay? I need to go to the toilet and then I'll be back as soon as I can. We're gonna skip the ad break on the hour so I'm gonna run an ad now. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's try that again. Turns out, I can't be my usual animated self because that was a lot of reading in very quick succession and I need to chill. <laughs> I need to chill. 
This was always going to be a learning curve. I need to get used to this again. I am still recovering. And yeah, so let's actually play a video game. Uh, please don't push yourself, Jim. I am, but I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm Kara. Taking good care, okay? <laughs> Rexor 400. Hello. Flap, flap. Rexor 400 just raided with eight viewers. Raiders, my name is Jimkin. Otherwise known as Jim. I'm recovering from coronavirus, so I apologize in advance if today is an absolute state. Rexor, it's been a while. I hope you're having a good time. You're playing Peglin. How is Peglin these days? It's one of those games that I've heard people talk about but never had the experience myself. Um, I just had to take an emergency BRB because I'm, I'm, I am, I'm in recovery from coronavirus, so I'm a little out of breath. Um, it is indeed, has been a while. Palin is a, a pachinko indie roguelike. It's quite fun. I've never, I've seen the little goblin in a few places, but I've never had the pleasure myself. Would you recommend? Freaky feline, get well soon. I'm over, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm testing negative now. Um, but this is my first stream back and I, it was cluck, my first cluck. day back at work someone today as well. Someone has just joined the Bok Bok Brigade. See someone, I'm doing anonymous follows now. So thank you very much for the follow. I will not be reading out your name. Anonymous follows are new to the channel and you have thus proven that my announcement works. So thank you very much for the follow and I hope you stick around. I do recommend I have the best part of 200s on it. And it's a roguelike and it's pachinko. Luxury pigeon, are you still here? You're playing Peglin, right? Um, I might have to Google, pa I might have to, I'm going to add that to a list because Peglin, I like Bolatro and all of these various things. So checking out, checking out Peglin might be a good show. Uh, do you ha do you still have anonymous unfollows? Are you planning on unfollowing me, Pidge? Oh my, hope you get fully well soon. Sending thoughts and players. Th thoughts and players? I like that. Thank you very much. Um, Raiders, if you need to raid and run, please do so. I am I have actually not done my full intro to the game that we've been playing, and I've been live for 38 minutes. So I'm going to do a full intro, and you're going to see how my shop's going. You're doing well, Jim. If you need to take breaks, take them. We won't ever say anything bad about someone taking care of themselves. Take your own advice or else. Thank you very much. I am... Dolly Whiskers will attest that I have taken pretty good care of myself the last week or so, and I don't usually do that. And the fact that I took a week off was amazing anyway, and the fact that I rested and stayed in bed for a lot of it was was a big deal. I'm not going to tell. He has. I would be very upset if he didn't. Yeah, there it is. Uh, friends and enemies, distinguished guests, people in possession of souls. This was a bit of a meandering intro. Raiders, if you need to raid and run, please do so. But we will be starting TCG Card Shop Simulator. I have played the game before. We are joining a shop that's already... Like, I've got one employee. Last time I streamed, I didn't... I barely had shelves. I've now got an employee. I've got multiple stocks of things. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour and then we're just going to play some of the game and then we're just going to live our lives like this whole Twitch, stream, Twitch streaming thing works out. Um, on this channel we celebrate achievements big or small little or large whatever whatever what however that works if you have achieved anything big or small since the last time we spoke it has been a while 15 days since i last streamed if you've achieved anything big or small please let me know because i am um, i've missed it i've missed telling Hooray. you how proud i am captain of you. underscore orca has been nesting with us for five months can you believe it's been five months rachel can you believe it's been five months captain orca thank you very much for the subscription um yeah follow age Shiranja. follow six months 13 days oh my god Jura. six months 13 days i achieved to save money, some money lately not been good at it if it is anything i achieved to save some money lately but we'll say but saving money is hard i i i i, I struggle with it at the best of times sanguine it, it's an achievement to manage it I don't know if it counts as an achievement, but I did a solo trip to Virginia for a Twitch friend's wedding and had the absolute best time. That is, of course, that's an achievement. That would be like me as an introvert walking into a like a room full of people and going, "Hi guys, how's it hanging?" That is a that is a big deal. Being able to do that is a big deal. That's almost half a year. I have officially made it another. Oh my god, is it your freaking birthday? 
Phoenix, can you just confirm? Is it is it your birthday today, or is it as it has it recently been your birthday? Yep, I didn't know a single person. Achievement for me was on stage yesterday, and I was confident. You were on stage. What were you doing on stage? Were you singing? Were you performing a presentation? I like. I I I will get to the game. I promise. Um, I will get to the game. I promise. But Phoenix has triggered my trap. Uh, triggered my trap card. Wait, 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 one sec. One sec. Phoenix has triggered my trap card. Oh god. This is, this is my first rendition of Happy Birthday since having coronavirus. And a one, and a two, and a three. Happy, but no, I'm gonna do it properly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phoenix. Happy birthday to you. I feel like my octave is like, I feel like my voice has gone like three or four like octaves lower than it used to be. That's it. Phoenix, happy birthday. I won't ask how old you are because I know you are older than time. And there were only like five key changes. I like it. <laughs> it's a th it's a thing. 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 Okay. Yeah. Achievements. If you have any big or small, my community is all about achievements and t me telling you or each other how proud we are of each other because there are people out there in the universe that don't have somebody to say how proud they are of them. So I've taken it upon myself to make my community a place that does that for everybody regardless of anything honestly i hope uh this community is accessible and welcoming to you there was an event in playcon that featured local streamers and the uh event was basically playing games like trivia games or what's on the box that is and you did it on you did it in person on stage that is impressive i'm a, based off that sentence i'm gonna say you're a streamer i'm gonna drop your follow freaky feline i've done it I've dropped you a follow. My achievement is I booked a trip to my sister as a well done for not crying every day in October because of work. Jury, you've done a really good job. You've done a jury, you've done a really good job. You know what's really interesting? Wait for cluck, it. Cluck, cluck. Someone has just joined the Bok Bok Brigade. Welcome to the Bok Bok Brigade. Do not let the pal go to your head. I'm just a random bearded man on the internet. Uh, when I added anonymous follows, I was trying to like measure out in my head whether or not I was reading it on the screen or on the activity feed. And apparently I do both. So if I ever read out your name when you follow me, I'm just going to apologize in advance because this is new. And my I, I didn't see your name in the middle, so I immediately scanned to the left. Thank you very much for the follow. Okay, this is my shop. My shop is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like raisins. This is my employee. No, I was a little bit concerned he looked like me for a second, but his beard is not as, is not as good. Okay, this is my shop, right? This is my shop. A few things have changed because I've just been playing this. You know what was really good? I could play this game basically with one hand while I was ill, so this is basically all that I did for about four or five days. I have various booster packs now unlocked all the way up, so the standard loop in this game is normal, rare, ultra rare, legendary. And then once you've achieved that loop, you go into the destiny sets, which are basically the same set, just a slightly different, different, like a slightly different setup. So this is a destiny pack. You can see it's a destiny pack because it's got all the stars in the background. Does anybody else really miss that noise? Okay, and this is the original set that we started with. So these are the these are the basic bitches. These are the these are the baby boys. Game is a tad loud. I have not changed the I have not changed it. Is it are you sure it's not just the ding? I will lower the but I, I have not changed it. It might be the ding. The ding is a bit loud, you're a bit loud. Okay, well now we have to lower it. The ding is yeah, yeah, please. I've lowered the ding. I've seen some streamers play FFTCG mod for this. Really? How bad is the ding now? Should we test it? Because apparently, was the ding or what? Is that better? Is 
that ding better? Are we happier with that ding? <laughs> much better. Thank you very much. Okay, so these are the booster packs we now have unlocked. It's very exciting. I have various expensive singles for sale. Free expensive singles in your area. We are going to start a day and it's going to be a nice time because this is going to make me pots and pots and pots of money. Like they're all they're all in the 200 to 300 card range. There are a couple of a thousand pound cards on this pile. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be absolutely crazy absolutely crazy i've moved my till over here last time i streamed my till was over there i decided i was sick of looking out at sunshine because i i work in retail now and so we we now look into the shop to make sure nobody's stealing anything um we have been using this quite thoroughly this 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 doohickey allows me to box up old cards and sell them for a profit so we are now selling our own booster boxes for 82 dollars 82 pounds sorry 82 pounds jura 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 i have multiple plushes for sale now i have not caught up on chat because there was a thing the final fancy the final fancy t tcg mod intrigues me for this game because i like the final fancy tcg uh pokemon i've seen i've also seen Yu Gi Oh used quite heavily the mods are entertaining as well I, I haven't touched the mods, if only I'm, I live in fear of accidentally breaking my own game that I'm actively playing. I've seen some ridiculous mods for this, mainly a guy opening a thousand packs in one sitting. Nice, nice, plushy statues. Are Jura approved? I have not unlocked statues yet, but we've got plushes of all kinds. We've got our own booster boxes. We've got the various flavors of booster boxes we've unlocked so far. And we've got the various sundries, like we've got we've got the sleeves, we've got starter decks, we've got more sleeves, we've got deck boxes, we've got dice. It's very exciting. We've got deodorant because all of our customers stink. And we've got collector's books, so they can be as addicted to collecting cards as I am. Because this game, I'll have you know, is a slippery slope. That looks great. I also have a storeroom now that is an excessive amount of rent. First little tip, if you're going to play this game and you're going to play this game well, you need to fix the smelly people. It's extremely important that you fix the smelly people. Um, you can get automated machines that do it on your behalf rather than you running around the shop and spray painting them with your own deodorant can. Last time I streamed, I had a machine here and a machine here. So anytime somebody walked into the shop, they would get sprayed. You might notice that there's not one here now because this magic, this wall is a magic wall. If you put the machine facing the wall here, it sprays through the wall. So anybody coming into the shop is automatically sprayed. So immersive. So it's 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 breaking it's breaking the concept of uh, physics, but we'll take it because it means I don't have to have this giant machine stuck out in the middle of the shop floor. And that's it. We've all caught, we're all caught up. That's the tour. We're gonna play some of the game today. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Open, I guess. Are you out here, employee? You're you're there. That's fine. Hello, sir. Welcome in. Don't lick the door handles. We're we're we're, we're a plague carrying shop. Immersive isn't always realistic. I mean, yeah. Buy those cards. Buy those cards. That's it. Okay. Not the biggest spender. Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. Do I need to do that again? I don't think I need to say. Sh oh shit. Okay. Well, with well, you, you. Yeah. That's 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 very nice. That's one hundred eighty-four dollars. That we'll take that. Thank you. Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. I. I need a poll. I need somebody to make a like a guiding decision. Am I saying thank you for shopping at Foul Play every time somebody buys something? $29? No, you don't want me to say it. Well, or, or yes, you want me to say it. You need to state your intent clearly. Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. Okay. Uh, thank you for shopping at Foul Play. No, don't say it, please. Do, do, do you not like it? Why don't you like it? 551 pounds. Say it. No, look at them with discontent or be Provost Plus style. I mean, fuck you. I'm just going to swear at them every time. No, you get a pass. It tingles my brain. I like it. I want you to keep your voice there. Oh, no, I wouldn't do it if it hurt myself. Uh, da -da -da -da. Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. I need like a, I need a button to do it. Oh, my God. He's, he's bought an expensive card. 
five nine four. <laughs> We have been open for 53 minutes and we have made two grand. Can you charge them more than what it costs? Yes. Uh, the chances of them buying it are a dice roll. I've missed that. I'm glad. There was a new one that I added and then I went on like sick leave for 15 days. So we're going to press it. Look at this. Yeah, that's a thing. Ooh woo, Sanguine. What's unclear about ooh woo? Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. Uh, 213, 213, 213. Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. We're making so much money. We've been open an hour and a half. We're three grand in. Two, seven, one. My rule of thumb, I always ooh woo when Jim. I would like to say my rule of thumb, if we're, if I'm instructing you how to run your card shop effectively, I haven't 3,200 pounds. That was backward satanic messaging. Yes, it was uh, subscribe to Right Big Chimpkin. He makes delicious pies. Um, so my rule of thumb when I'm pricing anything in this shop and it seems to work is market price 10% rounded number. The rounded number makes it easier to give change and the market 10% seems to be the sweet spot for making everybody buy everything consistently. Jim doesn't make the best tea though, keep that in mind. I mean, I... Do you really want tea if you're making... Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. Do you really want tea if you're eating pie? Do you even want... you want even more subscribers exposed? I mean... I mean, more followers and more subscribers. I, are we really going to be... Are you really going to make me say it? Like, more, more followers and more subscribers are nice. It's not what I'm here for, but I don't like pies. I don't like pies. Why don't you like pies? Like fruit pies. Or meat pies are we talking about? I bet you've never had Ashen. Oh, do not start with your ass ham tea. I like pies. Pies are good. I can I don't I don't like cooked fruit. I when I eat a pie, I eat a meat pie. At least not British savory pies. No, I'm talking like cherry pie. She's my cherry pie. You know, that famous song about that person that's a cherry pie. Da -da 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 -da. Um, spoilers, everybody. That is Dolly Whisker's ringed tone for me when they call me. When I call. Oh my god, you smell too? Are you leaving? Get out of here. Oh shit, hello. Can I open a card shop that makes four grand by lunchtime? <coughs> Cherry pies are good. I don't like cooked fruit, so when I talk about pies, I tend to mean meat pies, but I am i will acknowledge the existence of fruit pies. I need to do work. What do you mean need to do work? It's 10 p.m. Why are you doing work at 10 p.m.? Holy shit. Look, I still hear, so don't be mean to people. I mean, let's all be mean to Jura. Does everybody know how much Jura reminds me of the underside of a shoe? It's pretty bad. Me, Le Savage, wondering what a meat pie is. It's a pastry with meat in it. It's not that, it's not that big of a deal. Like steak and kidney pie, right? Steak and kidney pie with gravy and onions. I don't particularly like the kidney bit of that. Whoa! Okay, he, that's another grand that that man just spent. Six grand by 2 p.m. Like a hot dog. No, 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 and kidney pie like a, like a pie right like a like a like a like a pie like a pie i'm just saying pie so many times like a like a chicken and mushroom pie chicken and mushroom pie 
I think the sort of a tart. No, definitely not a tart. The internet was out for like six hours yesterday. I went outside for an appointment today. Things need to finish. That's why I'm still working. Jerry, you're usually in bed at this time of night. A pie, a tart is like biscuity base. This is pastry top. <coughs> And you can have it, it can be in a pie dish like this, or it can have the edges on it, so it can be like a standalone doohickey. But it's it's a thing. Um, Andrew might come through and turn me off soon though, so I gotta go. Jura, stop doing work at 10 p.m. It's no, you know what's even worse? You know what's even worse? Jura lives on the continent. It's 11 p.m. where Jura is, and Jura is doing work. We don't We don't like that. TCG card shop. Oh my god, I've been obsessed with this game lately. By the way, hello, Devil Sniper. Welcome in. Nice to see you. Um, I am addicted to this. It is a game that I can play very passively. For the US people, imagine chicken pot pie with no veggies. I have made six grand by 2 p.m. Um, we're we're having a good day. Luxury pigeon. What you need is feng shui. Also, Luxury Pigeon, I would just like to say, you said that I was bad at FPS games yesterday, and I'm offended. Uh, so, quite rightly, I'm going to say, if I'm bad at FPS games, at least I'm better at you than Trading Card, <laughs> trading card Simulator. <laughs> I don't think that's how this works. I think I've just played it for a while. Um, recognize the shape, pretty convinced, never seen it. Thank you for the education, though. I don't know if I think it's stereotypically very British. The pie, the pie deal. Do you know what? You know what a have you ever heard the term a pork pie? Do you know what a pork pie is? Other than not including the hat that was worn famously by that man in Breaking Bad. The luxury pigeon knows nothing though. I, w I went. Do you know what I have been enjoying while sick? Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Black Ops 6. Um, holy shit. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, everybody, is a return to form. I'm having so much fun with that game. The movement, the movement, the gunplay, the, the angry screams as I kill people with a gun in a video game. It's, it's very enjoyable. Thank you for buying a plush, and thank you for shopping at Foul Play. I've forgotten to say, in my defense, I was claiming everyone was bad at everything, although I stand by my comment. Luxury Pigeon, I went 63 and 21 yesterday in a Call of Duty round. You, you can't, you, 63 and 21. I will get my, twi I will get my, st I will get you, I, I will get my stats up. I will, I, ooh. He's made me. He's made me angry. Oh, he's ma he's do he's making me do it, chat. This was this was the stats that I took. This is my low-level bragging, just to get luxury pigeon. This, oh, he's doing it. And, oh, 63 kills, 21 deaths. I don't like sport. There we go. There it is. There is my there is my kill that there is my win and kills and shit. I'm, I'm not saying that this is particularly good, but check out that 1.24 kill death ratio. Yeah, that's what COD players like kill death ratios. They also like win ratio, but seemingly not as much. 1.24 kill death ratio. Best highest limbs put in a game 63. I'm badass. I'm not badass, but still, that's, that's, this is decidedly average play, but Pigeon, Luxury Pigeon said I was bad at FPS games and I will not let it stand. I refuse. That's it. That's, 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 looks photoshopped me. Oh my God. I will get, I will load the game. I will, I promised Dolly Whiskers that I would not play a high energy game today. If I hadn't done that, Pidge, you'd be fucked. You'd be, oh, you'd be, you'd be, you'd be in so much trouble. <coughs> I was stop gaslighting. <laughs> yeah, it makes me angry. I am, I am very good. I'm very good at few, very few things. You listen and keep up your promise to your wife. That's another grand. I've made 11 grand today.
Now imagine for me a trading card shop in real life that makes 11 grand in an afternoon. It is 5 p.m. and I'm sitting on 11 grand. Turn the lights on. I should probably pay, pay the employees. I stopped working, hope you're happy. Yes, it's 11 fucking p.m. Go to bed. You sat here in my chat telling me to take care of myself and you're actively working at 11 o'clock at night. Don't come in here and being like all high and mighty. Oh, right big chimkin told me to stop working and I felt bad, so I had to stop. Nobody's on your side in this case, Jura. It's it's all about me. No kids aren't sticky. Why is Rick? Is it not massively? No. Mm. 12,000. You're just, you're just angry because I'm rolling in digital currency. Look at that 12,000 up there, Jura. I've, I even removed my goal on my stream with the follow count and everything. Just so I could show off to Durandria. I've made 12 grand today in a video game. Have you made 12 grand in a video game? You're always sticky. One puked in my classroom today. Oh, don't tell me that. I don't want to know. I, I, mm. I bow to your ability to actually teach small children of that age. Look, I've sold all of these cards. That actively makes me want to gag. Yeah, and I'm live and it actively makes me want to gag. Think how I feel in this situation. <coughs> you don't want to have to deal with other children's, like... I think if it's your... Uh, based off my experience in talking to several parents, um, I think if it's your own child... You don't tend to care, but if it's another person's child, it's gross. I just kept teaching and I had someone in the room helping me with my language learners and she helped the kid, period. I just kept it rolling, no one really noticed. I can honestly say I've thrown up in many strange places in my life. I don't think I ever vomited at school. Did anybody in chat ever vomit at school? Is that an okay question? I think it's fine. Never, I never vomited at school. Twice. See, it's funny, right? I've not been at school for like 20 years, however long now. Never vomited. It was really bad. Never, but I ripped my pants once. I have a, like, I, I, ooh, I have a, when I was super young, I, the various tales of right big chimpkin at school, I, in a rush, decided I really wanted to go and eat my lunch one day, and we had just come in from, like, a physical education lesson, like PE, or, like, gym, or whatever the, wh whatever your part of the planet calls it, but we had just come in, and we were getting changed out of our sports kit back into our school uniform, right? And my bright self, because I was really hungry after this after this sports session, said, okay, I'm going to put my shoes on before I put my trousers on. So then I can put my shoe through my trousers and then, like, I'll be done. It'll be fine. And then I got my, I got my shoe, my completely shoed foot stuck in my trouser leg. And, like, eight, nine-year-old me absolutely panicked. Floods of tears. They had to cut me out of my trousers. Um, first time almost on my teacher's shoe. Shame it missed him. He told my mom I was too stupid for the type of school I was in at the time. Guy was. Let's not get into it. No, let's not get into it. But yes. Did somebody ever have to use a pair of scissors to get you out of your trousers though, Jura? That sounds like a... You can't ask people that on the internet. That's not... That's not appropriate. If, that, if you were anybody but my mod... Yeah, no, I had to cut myself out of my trousers. Like, yeah, just, just for clarification, I don't make a habit of asking people that. Not yet. Not yet! Uh, 1,000. Oh, my God. Just absolutely rolling in cash. So much money. So much. Look at it. 16 grand we've made today. Let's let's close the store. You never know. I mean, add it to the... Add it to... Oh, you're gonna regret. No, I, 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 I almost said add it to the diary, and I. Jura, I regret the day you told me that about your diary. 
I, re I regret the day you told me about your diary. I turned my head and puked straight forward and the boy I sat next to got up and ran away from where we sat. It's a track and not a diary. It's the same concept. If I say diary, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, one thing I did learn whilst away ill is you can do this. How amazing is this? I was picking these cards out one at a time and I realized I can hold up to six of them in one hand. And then it's done. It's magic. You, sir, need to go home. Get the fuck out. Go on. Okay, good. It's actually Google Sheets, so we can both access it in any time from anywhere. Don't, why you take, why, I know I brought it up. I know I brought it up. I know it's entirely my fault for bringing it up, but why are we now, you know, you know, don't tell Andrew you know about this. I mean, <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. Um, okay um i need to okay so we've gone about our day right we've we've done everything we've done we've done everything right it's all it's all it's all it's all well and good and now do i need to restock anything like everything on the shelves is entirely full and that's great i could get more booster boxes <coughs> the orange booster boxes uh, orange booster boxes. Or is the guy in this shop just shit? Because I swear I had some of those. Orange booster boxes. No, I'm completely out of orange booster boxes. So, we go in here. We order two. That's good. Is anything else massively low? We order yellow deck boxes. Yellow deck boxes. <laughs> Um, we order Destiny, Destiny boosters of the normal variety. We order reds and purples. Reds. Purples. Uh, we order the bat plushes. That plushes. We order two yellow and two blue. One, two. One, two. Okay. We've spent two grand of the 14k we earn, which is amazing. It's very special. It makes me feel real good about myself. Check me out, earning all of this card monies. And then we put all of these back onto these shelves because when our employee arrives in the morning, they'll be the one to restock the shelves because when the way that I've got them set up, they will only restock shelves with labels on. So the items in the storeroom will always go into the place that they should go. Come on. <coughs> I'm restocking the shelves and then we'll give the cat a treat. It's very exciting. It means I have to do absolutely zero work and all I do is just stand around and rake in the cash. Uh, but that does also mean we have 14 grand to buy booster cards that I can open. Because, hi. Not rub your head on that microphone. I will turn you into a jacket. Um, I do not threaten my cat with jacketing regularly, but he... Hi, it's blues! Shit. Yes, you're a cat. You yell about that. You 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 tell everybody how you feel about being a cat, because I hear that it's quite awesome. You get to sleep like 50 hours a day. And as a person that has recently experienced sleeping 50 hours a day, let me tell you, I don't wanna, I, I would love to sleep, I would love to continue to sleep that long as long as I wasn't ill at the same time. Uh, Blue booster boxes. I want to have 50 hours in a day. Sky, Lakar, a Kara frog shows up at your door before you can make sense of what's happening. A copy of White Bread, a social history of store-bought loaves. Um, over there, over there. Okay, let's give him a treat, because otherwise he's just going to yell in my face. And Jura's doing books as well. 
Yeah, Sky Alakar of the Sky Alakar Alakars. You better be hydrating, otherwise George will find you and he will sit on you. And I don't know if you've noticed, but look how round he is. Look how round that cat is. He will do a good sitting on you. Take it. Take these treats. Thank you very much. All right, how's it going? I got Sky into COD as well. Sky's been shooting guns as well. Good old time. Um, cat, you're in the way. You're in the way, cat. Uh, a history of bread. Go on, all the way down. Go on. <coughs> How did white bread, once an icon of American progress, become white trash? In this lively history of bakers, dietary crusaders, and social reformers, Aaron Bobrostrain. Bobrostrain shows us what we think about the humble puppy loaf says a lot about who we are and what we want our side okay i don't want to read a book about bread i like like i'm not i'm not here for the bread book gerandria a frog shows up at your door before you can make sense of what's happening a copy of nom de plume a secret history of pseudonyms smacks you across the face nom de plume nom de plume uh go away uh, nom, nom de plume. Oh, it's just reviews. That's boring. Nom de plume is a fascinating collection of stories populated by individuals whose doubleness is so distinct that they, they require secondary personalities and, in some notable cases, multiple personalities. It's a richly documented literary excursion in the inner secret lives of some of our favorite writers. I mean, I feel like if I ever wrote a book, I would probably use a nom de plume, but I'm not particularly happy about it. Um, Andrew just came in and told me you're not in bed. That means you're naughty. So um, shall leave you with this. Be good to yourself and do something nice for yourself this week. I will try. So I don't like the way that they wrote that message. That makes me uncomfortable. Um, we've put all of our stock away. It's very exciting. We need to buy blue deck boxes. Then what we're gonna do, chat? We're gonna spend 14 grand on trading cards. This is gonna be a treat from you to me. This is gonna be. This is. Oh! I didn't notice that sign was there. You can use it as. You can make it no entry. That's exciting. Okay. Well. Hang on, let me check that I haven't got rent to pay. All of my rent is paid up. It's behind the phone. <laughs> I mean... Okay. <laughs> We're going to open that in front of everybody outside the shop. Yeah, my bill, my supply cost, 26 grand. We're not, we're not. I'm ne I'll never be rich because I keep buying my own, I keep opening my own stock. I need to take a quick screenshot of that because that might be the thumbnail. Okay, everybody. It's, it's that time again. We've been streaming this game for an hour and 14 minutes, even though I spoke for like the first 38 minutes of the stream. It's time. Did I buy the wrong one? I bought the wrong one. No, you have no idea how bad that is. That's actually really... When was the last? Fuck.
246 this morning. 246 is this morning. That's unlucky as fuck, then. Ah! I mean, I could do that entire day again or cut my losses. Um, I What I meant to buy was the 66 packs, but I bought booster boxes because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Leonard, Leo, I've just done a real bad... Flap flap. Nymea. Leonard oh my God, 317 raids? just raided with 13 viewers. Leonard and Nymea. Oh. Raiders, my name is Chimkin, otherwise known as Chim. I'm a variety. I don't know how the auto shout out's going to work. Flap flap. Nimia underscore just raided with four viewers. Nimia, I might have to shout you out in a minute because I have an auto shout out system and I don't know what happens if they stack. But. Leonard, Nimia, I'm going to assume that you come from the same place because you were playing Phasmo and I think I was in Leonard's stream the other day while they were playing Phasmo. I was looking with both. <laughs> Welcome in Raiders. My name is Chimkin, otherwise known as Jim. I am recovering from coronavirus and we are currently just having a little bit of a quiet session of uh, trading card shop simulator. And I've just done a bad, I've done a real bad. I just spent 14 grand on the wrong thing. I just spent 14 grand on the wrong thing. How was Phasmophobia? How was Phasmophobia? Leo literally so cute and Nim, of course. I've seen, I'm pretty sure, I love your orange potato that's just judging us with its one brain cell. He is not as fat as that photo makes him look. I will say I selected that photo because he looks particularly round, but it was honestly, he was puddling that day and he was on the quilt and he was he was being a puddle, right? He is not as big as that photo makes him look. But it's why I chose it. And it's the little folded legs at the front that makes me extremely happy. But I hope you had a very good stream. How is Phasmophobia these days? We used to play that once upon a time. I've not done it in quite some time. Um, I can't believe I've spent all that. I spent, I spent like 14 grand on the wrong thing. And that, so, so what I wanted was the boxes of 64 packs, but instead I've got booster boxes. They made the Halloween event on Phasmo community. What? How? What? I'm not entirely sure what that means overall. And now, welcome to the addictive side of this video game. I hope you like opening trading card packs because we're doing it for the next five years. I gotta recomp some of this value because I bought the wrong thing. Oh yeah. What is the difference between a regular Phasmo event and a community one? Is my question, because I don't know. I think the last time I played was when they moved from the original house to the new, like, Ghostbusters factory that they live in now in the game, and I've not touched it since. Is it good these days? Like, how does it... There was some drama in the community when I last played. It's like everyone playing makes a bar move. Oh! They've done a hell divers. I mean, that's cool. Does that mean I should play Phasmophobia? Last time we played on stream was... Oh god, it was a while. It does. Sky Alucard's bias. Sky Alucard is playing with my partner right now. Silly to be honest. Just silly to be honest. I got to a point... 0.421% so far on the first three stages, 15 days to go. That doesn't sound like they're gonna do it then. And there's three stages. Yeah, that doesn't sound like they're gonna achieve that. What do you get if the community thing finishes? Like, more people need to be playing Phasmo then, surely. I wonder if they'll backpedal, because games have done it before. They've set the community thing too high, and they're all just... At the end, they're just going to go like, we can't do this, and then just lower it. DLB, welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate. TLB, I did a bad... I did a bad TLB. I spent 14 grand on the wrong thing.
It's just for cosmetic cosmetic ID card, then stain shrink trophies for the case. Every if you, if you're not familiar with the community, ignore that weird little video that just played. I'll play you something different because you seem to know them. Um, Nymea and Leonard, Leo, what hat? Leonard, Leonard, Le Le Leonard, Leo. Do you prefer Leonard or Leo? Leonard? I don't think it's Leonard. Leonard? I think it's Leonard. That is how I would spell Leonard, anyway. And Nymea, um, when, when, when I press this button, you have to do, you have to, the, you have to, Leo, I'll just say Leo. You have to do the salute for Sanguine. Yeah, sorry. Sanguine is a good egg. No matter what people say about him. 14 grand. 14 grand. I would take Sanguine with me. I would turn Sanguine into a handbag. In a completely non-peculiar way. Like... I mean that in a, like, so I can keep you around permanently. Like, I don't mean it in a strange way. I, I just want to store stuff in Sanguine. No, that's weird, it's still. I want to make sure that Dolly Whiskers has always got stuff to shove inside of Sanguine. <laughs> no. Um, also, Dolly Whiskers doesn't carry a handbag. Oh boy. Quick, Sanguine, come with me where it's safe. <laughs> I mean, I'm dedicated. Sanguine, I'm dedicated to a bit. Look, look, look! I didn't stream. I didn't stream for. I got. I got ill. I didn't stream for like 15 days. I was gonna say some weird. I was gonna say some weird stuff this first stream back. It was an. It was sort of inevitable. <coughs> I've not even done one box yet. This was a mistake. The best thing they ever added to this game was a slider that allowed you to speed up the card openings. I'm just getting nothing. I think I've opened enough cards for a while. <coughs> I opened... I got the achievement. Do you want to know what the number is? If you would like a card shop like mine, I have opened 10,000 cards in this game. 10,000. I'm not even sure if that's a lot, but it's one of the higher end achievements, so I'm assuming it's up there. These are giving me nothing though. When you buy a pack of the 64 booster boxes, I don't know if the rates change. This is the issue I'm... 10, it's not very exciting. I'm looking for a high value card to make this entire mistake worth it, and I need 14 of them. I mean, it's good XP regardless, but still. I opened six hours straight the other day. 3,600 packs on stream. Did you do six hours of this game on stream? 231. That's not bad. <coughs> That's our first. I don't know if you have any fondness for Pokemon, but I know a lot of people who are able to enjoy the game a lot more after getting the mod because it becomes something they're familiar with. I don't dislike this. Like, there's a certain component of this, especially considering I've ballsed it up, but I, I want to recomp what I accidentally paid. I don't care. Like, the art style is lovely, but I've seen a lot of them. Honestly, I'm just keeping you on the edges of your seats, waiting for me to get an absolute baller of a card. Yeah, it was just holding the mouse down, letting those packs come, uh, come open. Six hours of pack openings. The, de the funny thing is, I, I bet... Did you post that VOD on YouTube? I bet if you titled that VOD six hours of pack openings, you'd get views. <laughs> there we go. It's not shiny and it's not great, but it's a... It's a... That's a... That's a pretty rare drop as a card goes. That's a... That's a... That's a ghost card because of the coloring. When the games get... When the cards get really expensive... 
it's when you get the ghost shinies and then they start making astro astronomical numbers. I've hit, I, I think the highest card that I've had so far since playing is eight grand. Fourteen. <coughs> You don't even need to you don't even need time to look. I will pause if there's a Look at all of these cards though. I need a bargain bin. I just need a, I just need the guy inside filling the bargain bin full of packs of these cards. I'm going to leave these cards on the street overnight and they're going to be soggy and I'm still going to open them next time I play. Them. Sixty-two is not great. Let's not pretend that that's great. Leo, the funny thing... Also, these are only packs of... There's only six in here. If you were to open a booster box in real life, the booster box would have a guaranteed number of rate, like rates of pulling cards. So part of me wants to believe the put the pulls from the booster boxes are better than the sixty the packs of sixty four, and I don't want to get to a point where I'm opening a spreadsheet. Come on, anything, please. I've had one. I've had two hundred and thirty as an expensive card. Um, 231 is not great. <laughs> the ghost cards are, tis the way of RNG, I've only ever opened singles. Peep peep. Sanguine Endy has gifted a tier 1 subscription to Leonard317. Sanguine, you gotta stop doing that, you have to pay for food. Like sanguine, like you'll never grow, you'll never grow hands if you keep gifting subs to people. Have you, have you considered that you don't have any hands because your body was incapable of producing them? It does, I do, part of me now that I've come back, I feel like we need to put this meme to bed a little bit because it, when I say it out loud, if somebody doesn't know who you are, it makes it sound like I'm being mean to a disabled person. But I would just like to give context that Sanguine's PNG tuber has no hands, which is why we say it. And I feel like we're very rapidly approaching a line where I don't want to say it anymore. <laughs> Bus. I can support. Sanguine is a good egg, and I do appreciate it. You don't, you do not have to give subs on this channel. A follow is enough, and I would like to remind everybody that follows are anonymous. We are now an anonymous following channel. And honestly, having done it today, I feel better about it, and I don't. I, I don't really know why. Um, I read I read a psychological thing, right? The anonymous follows are just better in the case where people don't people want to support, but they don't want their name said. Need to check on all the animals before it gets dark. Thank you for the lurk, Leo. Like somehow anonymous follows are more cuddly. Which I'm here for, because we're all about accessibility and keeping the channel as optimized as possible. These are not giving me anything, and I feel like... Anto, welcome in. I feel... I feel... I can't... 
I, I need to do something and you're all going to hate me for it. But it's my first stream back. You're not going to hate me for it. Hate is a very strong word in this situation. But I can't, I can't recover from this. Come on. Fanto, I, d I made a big mistake. I spent 14 grand on something and it was the wrong thing. Um, we're going to reload the game. I wasn't going to. Um, but I can't. We have to play that day again. We have to do over that day. Imagine if I've reloaded the wrong thing now and I've just lost all those cards. No, we're back. So welcome in. How does one manage that? Because I'm a fucking idiot. And I'm also recovering from COVID. So we're just going to... Today was the day. If I was going to make a mistake like that, it was today. Recovering from COVID. My brain don't work right. Okay. Fred's an enemy. I'm not restarting the stream. Let's just get in. It's like we've sold all of this stuff before. Come on. Why are you still stinky? Okay, let's do this. I keep shopping at foul play. Oh, that's where you've been? Yeah, I was big sick. Big old sick. I'm glad you're feeling a bit better at least. Yeah, it's um it's an interesting one. I cannot recommend COVID, everybody. I I don't think you need to be told this. But COVID is not is not a fun experience. And thank you for shouting out Sanguine Sky. How is um I've seen you playing it. How is bit right big sick in? I like that. I should have changed my username to that temporarily. Um how is Sparking Zero? How, no, you know, the, how is Dragon Ball game? I've seen you playing it a bunch. The right big sickening. We could just refer to that period of my life as the right big sickening. It's very fun. Imagine now that I don't sell all of those cards again and I'm now out out the money. <coughs> Loads of people disconnecting ranked and there's no actual rating punishment. They might bring that in eventually. I won't. I have a love-hate relationship with Bandai video games. They might do a good job, but based off previous experience, that'll probably just keep happening. Hmm. And I say that as a person that has... Okay, the big money is happening now. It's like Supermarket Simulator, but with trading cards. That is exactly what it is. That it, you can open all the individual packs and everything. It's very exciting. The issue was that I did, I did an entire day of work in the game and accidentally spent all my earnings on the wrong thing, which is why we're doing a bit of a reset right now. Imagine if this day is not as successful as my last day, though. That's going to be depressing. Okay, can we can we break... How much was it? It was like 16 grand all in that we made in the last day. We are not doing as well. 3.5 by 11, I think that's behind. Uh, how fun. Uh, you can sell all the single training cards and you can open the packs and it's it's very exciting and it's it's not addicting at all and I can quit any time that I like and look at it you can open the but oh I can quit I any time I want I can quit any time I want come on it's it's Pokemon cards but it's a video game and it's great uh 36 thank you for shopping at foul play also I get to say that every time I make a sale thank you for shopping at foul play Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. Okay. In line. Oh god, we're forming a queue. Okay. I do like the way that the AI sort of like forms a queue before it forms a queue. Like they all join at the various points in the line. 
That's fine. Four grand, 12 p.m. We are behind where we were last time. We need to start making some big sales. 139. See, that's not a big sale, sir. Like, I did better last time. What is happening? No, too much money. Thank you. We need, we need, we need a rush of custom. Oh, it's, it might be happening a little bit. Thank you for shopping a foul play. Thank you for shopping a foul play. Thank you for shopping a foul play. Nice belly button. Uh, two on three. <laughs> Is that it? Are we done? I'm not nearly as rich as I was yesterday. I'm sad. Though it would have taken me 40 years to open all of those boxes and I would not have had the number of pills that pulls that I should have. Replaying this day means I have more chances to get banger cards. So one card and two sleeves is not a is not a suitable amount of money. One card, oh my goodness, six. How you do business. I'm saving for an entire new member of staff that can man the till and then I never have to do anything ever again. You can just leave the game running and they can that one person can restock the shelves and the other person can run the till and then I can just wander around the shop making sure everybody's got a nice drink. What you one? Before that's not bad. There are some big cards here that I need to get rid of because the, no, where are they? They're over here. Yeah, you know, one thirteen hundred. They went last time. Sixteen. Five three. Come on, big cards. Big cards, everybody. 871. That's a good purchase. Basics. 530 is a good purchase. But getting there, we might break the 10k mark. grand come on 10k i will take 10k we had 16 last time 10k would be fine sir your your chest is showing through your shirt that was unpleasant <coughs> three four nine come on we'll do a lap we'll do well nobody else minds come on Five. Those. Cards. Yes, look, before I reloaded, we sold every one of these cards. The entire place was sold out except for three. I have this really nagging feeling we're not going to do it this time. Go 10 grand. We broke 10 grand. That's what we like to see. And we have a good few hours of the day left. And it's my own fault for screwing up. Press that. Come on. We need to make we need to make six grand before the end of the night. Uh, one, two. 
We got this. Come in, come in, everybody. Spend, spend, spend. 182. Thank you for shopping at Foul Play. <coughs> I wonder. I now that people were talking, people were talking about modding this game at the beginning of the stream. I'm wondering. I'll have to do my research. It might be interesting to do a Pokemon sort of take on this, but it'll be whether or not I can just overlay a mod on top of the game that I'm already playing. I'm not sure I want to start this again. <coughs> Rachel. Rachel, I have set up that image that we talked about, but it well, I didn't I didn't use it today because I didn't want to. If I only stream for like fifteen minutes, I didn't want it to be a waste. So it will be on the next stream. Very exciting. It's speaking in code. Do, do, do. No biggie. I know, but he looks cool. God, Kara's hat. Sky Alucard making me wear Kara's hat. It must be fate because you clearly love each other. Uh, five, three, two. Are we going to come in with the late night purchases? Are these people going to come in with the late night purchases? Put your size. How dare you? I mean, you spun it. It's not my responsibility. So dainty. Makes me feel pretty. Really, really, I should put it on the frog. The tiara is frog size. There we go. That's what we like to see. £1,500 spent on trading cards at 7 o'clock at night. Uh, just a bit of advice, uh, advice chat. If you are into the trading card thing, don't spend £1,500 at 7.30 at night. Should have matching ones. Yep, there they are. Happily ever, Kara. Welcome in. Or welcome back, sorry. We're gonna we're gonna lose out a tiny bit at this rate, but not too much. You're talking about me? Yeah, we were. We were telling everybody how pretty you are and wonderful and how lucky we are to have you in our life. Talking about your hat. You hear that this son of a bitch said about us? I'm not a son of a bitch. That's my mum you're talking about. You leave my mum out of this. My mum is an angel. I want to spend money. I need two grand. I told everybody that you like to kiss in secret. That you secretly love each other. And this is all just a ploy. That's it. We're down 1500 since... Oh, are you doing a last minute? I would rather pour gasoline on my lips and burn them. Wow! That is graphic. I right, respectfully, I don't think it needed to be that graphic, did it? Like, I know we're joking, but lip burning with gasoline. And I'm going to assume you mean. I remember one of the funniest memories was being with your mum, and then she walked in and said, "Yeah." You want to know what's funny? I have a story of Fanto. I remember you doing that when you were like this tall. And we all we all giggled about it because it was me, my mum, 
in the kitchen and like you were off in the house doing something and my mum has this tiny wooden stool and um Fanto when they were a small kid kicked this tiny wooden stool it couldn't have been any wet they were like six seven and no they was probably younger that like four five maybe and just yells oh fuck as this four or five year old and then just continues on about their day ah oh, memories i like the match oh, i have a funny story about this weekend go <coughs> obviously at this point it is now apparent that i've known fanto for quite some time since they were this big Not literally this big, but you get the point. Actually, no, literally this big. I think I was younger because I remember doing being time coming home and calling someone a cunt. I was packing for the wedding and I found a goose purse that I bought a while ago and hadn't used. So I texted the bride like, wouldn't it be funny if I broke this out for the first time at your wedding? And she was like, no, it's mandatory now. You have to bring it. A goose purse? Are we talking about a, a purse shaped like a goose? Or am I unfamiliar with the term goose purse? Okay, we're gonna restock and we're gonna restock without making any mistakes. Fuck okay, yeah, the goose purse? A goose purse. I mean. It's an interesting fashion choice. Nobody's gonna nobody's gonna say you don't make interesting fashion choices. And then I was checking out the hotel staff, recognized me and was like, how was the wedding? Are you leaving the goose bag for me? So apparently I'm, I'm, you're known as the goose bag lady. I mean, there are worse things to be known by. Blue dice. Yeah, Fanto, I think you're lagging a bit. I've, or I'm lagging a bit because that redeem is taking its sweet time. That's an elite title. If Fanta did a redeem then and nothing happened, I think I think we might be a little bit funny right now. Uh, blue dice twice. Blue dice twice. Uh, purple, yellow, yellow, blue, blue. Purple. Yellow, yellow, blue, blue. Okay, we do this. Am I dropping frames? No. Maybe Twitch is having a funny. I DM'd you a pic. I will check it out after stream. For later. A goose purse. Is this gonna take? It's gonna turn out to be like. Uh, I remember when loads of people had like. Uh, like wiener dog purses, like they were shaped like chihuahuas and stuff. And I've seen like goats and llamas and shit like that, and cats. Okay, please remind me, chat, to save the game after I've restocked these shelves because Jesus Christ, do I not want to repeat this next time I play? I'm very sorry for having to repeat myself whilst on stream, like we did the same day twice. Not too big of a deal, but it's, you know, it's good easing back into streaming content. It's just the same thing over and over again. Can't decide if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we do this. And then we do that. Okay, we're fully stocked. Everything is fully stocked. What are we missing? Bat plushes. I take it back. We're not fully stocked, but now we are. Okay, so all that's fully stocked. All of the shelves out there will be fully stocked because dude will have been working throughout the day. What we're going to do is we're going to drop a save. <coughs> and this time we're going to buy the right freaking thing. 
we do this and we go down here and we buy this one specifically and we buy 13 grand's worth of training cards. It's doing even 30 boxes. <coughs> even 30 boxes, 1200. Purchase. Nice. Okay. Can we get through a box before the end of stream? We've got we've got a little bit of time. This is how much that like this just this is just so many more cards that if you do it this way. So many dings. We want a banger, right? We want a banger. We want an absolute cluster truck of a card to wrap off the night, and then it will be a success. If I don't get a cluster truck of a card, I will quit streaming forever. I might think about quitting streaming. No, I won't. I'm back. I'm back now. Like, I'll be, I'll be stream. Assuming I don't, like, pass away through working tomorrow, I will be back streaming the rat game tomorrow evening at the usual time. And we can finally finish the rat game because I was so fit. I was so prepared to finish the rat game. Like the last time I streamed, like fit the before I got sick. The last time I streamed, we were. I stopped the Plague Tale Requiem because I felt like there wouldn't be a full streams of, con of content left. And then I took 15 days off by accident. And I, I really want to know what happens in that game. And I want to start other games that I've got queued up to play after it. Crazy? I was crazy once. You were never crazy, Sanguine. It's all a, it's all a pretend. Reference, I'm the only one allowed to mention the meme. Yes, Kara. Sanguine is the only one allowed to mention the meme. They paid for the privilege. Like, quite literally, they paid for the privilege. I'm not allowed to comment. Sanguine's on my side. They bought they bought their way into the right big chimkin company. Why did you single me out? Because you have a goose bag. I'm gonna change your nick car, can I just get your agreement that can I I wasn't can I car can I get your agreement that I'm gonna change your nickname in our Discord to Goosebag? Like, is that okay? Just go, just goosebag. <laughs> I don't care. Wow. 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 <coughs> Come on. Good card. I'm getting excited, but I've sold all of my cards from this set, which is why they're dinging again. I just saw the tiara too. Look lovely. We were talking about the frog needing one. Need a tiny little tiara for the frog. It was a good weekend and I made friends. I'm happy. I mean, that's nice, right? Sounds like my worst nightmare, but I'm glad that you had a nice time. Honestly. Honestly. It's really nice that you went somewhere like that, especially as a, like, solo person. Um, and, like, I'm, I'm glad that you had a nice time, honestly. I get how big of a deal that was. Like, as much as we joke, as much as we joke, I get how big of a deal it was. Well, I knew most of them. No, it's still big. It's a big deal to meet people from online for the first time. They could have all been goat killers. They could have all... You could have been going to a sacrificial goat. You Like, they could have started sacrificing goats. You don't know. Maybe I was away on a nudist retreat. I, I, I didn't have COVID at all. Nudist retreat. That would have been a hell of a wedding. I mean... What, the nudist retreat or the goat sacrifice? <coughs> Yes. Okay. Literally nothing. 
literally no cards of any, like, any meaningfulness. Nothing. Poop. Absolutely terrible. 259, we'll take it. Not great. Not the last one of that box. Come on. Absolute banger of a card. <laughs> we got this, come on. Rendering fight. I got excited then. I thought it was three grand. Come on. Nothing. Nothing. Nada. <coughs> I think I'm going to bid you a strategic retreat, and it's actually getting close to the end of stream anyway. Um, my throat has held up, but I'm not going to push it past the two-hour mark. The day was about sort of warming up and getting back into the spin of things, and I feel like I've done a pretty good job. It was a bit... So when I do my opening bit, like when I read through everybody's stuff in chat and it's, I, I really enjoy doing that. Like I, I, I love it. Like it's, re it's really cool to connect with people in that way. But as evident by the beginning of this stream, whilst I'm still in recovery, I need to slow down. So when we come back tomorrow at the usual time, we will be playing a Plague Tale Requiem. We might, we might uh, even finish that game tomorrow. Um, but when I start stream, I'm going to take it a little bit easier. <coughs> and, um, we'll just see how we get on. You done good? You better continue to take care of yourself. I am trying. Honestly, I am trying. Like, uh, even I, even I will say, I very rarely have something in terms of an achievement to read out to you guys. But even my achievement this time will be, I took care of myself with COVID. Like, I actively hydrated i lied down when i needed to i didn't push um because i'm gonna put it out there i live in a household where somebody and this is more like a moral of the story and people should take this into account my partner dolly whiskers love them they have myalgic encephalomyelitis emmy which was caused by, by a very bad viral infection um and they got so basically they got normal person sick one day and never recovered so as soon as covid hit our house my brain goes it'd be really bad if right big chimkin got me like that is worst case scenario it's not like you can just produce that as a result but watching somebody that got that sick and then just never really got better you get COVID and you read all the stuff about COVID and you get, you hear about long COVID. You, you, it scared me, honestly. Like it, it honestly scared me. So I took care of myself and my achievement will be that I, that I actively tried this time. Because sometimes I don't, like even Dolly says, sometimes I put my job ahead of how I'm feeling uh sometimes i put streaming ahead of where i'm feeling i don't do that on the regs i don't do that on the regs Sy symbolic welcome in we're just wrapping up but thank you for popping in um it would have really I, I will end it in terms of this little metaphor or like monologue that i'm doing it would have fucked us had i got long covid or worse um so i paid special care special care to looking after myself in terms of recovery because i would not um i would not wish emmy dolly does very well and i think dolly would also attest to this i would not wish emmy on my worst enemy it is it it, it sucks and dolly does very well and i take extra special care of them but it is not the best and we work on it daily to make their life as straightforward as possible um chat 
It's been a while since I've said this, so this might go a little off the rails. I want you to know that I'm glad you exist. Thank you very much for the warm welcome back after such a long time away. If you miss that I he is ending, he needs to take care of himself in recovery. We are glad you exist. I am glad you all exist. I missed you all. I honestly missed you all. As much as I as much as I will take the piss. I honestly miss streaming. I refer to it as my happy place because it is. Um I um when it when I wasn't able to stream, I wanted to stream and it's a whole it's a whole thing. So we're gonna move forward now. Tomorrow we will play a game where I'm a little bit more like a little bit more less, you know more exciting game not that this isn't unexciting see this is the rambling that i was talking about i'm glad you exist chat thank you very much for the warm welcome back i will be back tomorrow at the usual time with a plague tale requiem we'll probably finish that game uh we will at least do our best to finish it anyway um at the beginning of my streams i ask if there is something i can be proud of you for so at the end of my streams i like to say something different chat i want you to know i am both glad you exist but i'm also proud of you for existing um i don't know if you have kept up to, to speed with everything that's going on in the news right now but holy shit the world's like in apocalypse it's 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 the world's in a very interesting state right now um and the fact that you're getting up every day and living your life as best as you can and you might not even be getting up to, so don't, don't get me wrong if you are unable to get out of bed certain days uh, but you're still existing i'm proud of you for that because i get how hard it is to exist with the various things that are, that are happening in the world so i want you to know that i'm proud of you for just being here i want you to be here but you do not have to watch my content you do not have to be in chat you do not have to lurk in chat though lurking is always appreciated what i want you to do is take all of the energy that you've got um and put it concentrate on living like put all of that energy into living and if my content can make your life that little bit easier that is the niche that i'm trying to fill on the internet um yeah and if you don't feel like you have the energy whatever shape or form to stream tomorrow rest i will i promise like i will for all of the people that are worried like i am working again tomorrow i am i am i am at i'm working from home monday tuesday and then i then we're then there's a little bit of a question mark about wednesday forward but um if i can't stream i won't but i might as a little bit of a into because i want to get back into the rhythm of things if i can't stream if i feel like i can't stream for a full two hours i will break all of my previous trends and maybe do like half an hour to 45 minutes um, because I do want to get back on the horse. I want to get back on the horse. And what I don't want to do is find myself in a position where I stream today and then don't stream till Saturday because it's really, it's really jarring from a mental perspective. And I have missed that. I've missed this. <laughs> I've missed this so much. Um, and maybe if Juru is good, um, they will have finished my trailer by Saturday and we will be able to show you a new trailer that Jura has been working on. I don't know how busy they are. That might be that might be that might be putting a lot of weight on them. But Jura is working on a trailer for me. I've seen the first draft. Um, if it's not ready by Saturday, it doesn't have to be ready by Saturday. Um, but there is a trailer coming, and it's very exciting, and I'm really happy with it. Um, uh, maybe don't write Jura. Now that I've said that out loud, do not rush for that purpose. Like don't don't rush um but you'll see it when you see it chat i'll do my best no you won't i i take it all back hey jura, jura. um fuck cancer chat go to bed yeah 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 jura, go to bed it is midnight where you are um fuck cancer chat um me and my partner dolly whiskers lost somebody very important to us to cancer at the end of 2023 but cancer is a ritual is a ritual that we do at the end of each one of my streams um it helps me remember them it helps me bypass my grief to a certain degree uh bypass is the wrong word it softened the entire experience and uh so when we say fuck cancer it helps me remember them in a slightly positive way because i think about you guys I think about you uh but that's it 
Um, and thank you for helping me do a weird shit on the internet. We're going to raid out, and then I'm going to do my street post-stream admin, and then I might play a little bit of Call of Duty, and then I'm going to go to bed. Thank you again for such a warm welcome back. I was so irrationally worried about picking stuff up again. You have no idea, and I get how crazy that is. I get how crazy that is. Who we raid in, chat? Who we raid in? Um. I am going to throw you at Bluish Meteor. They are playing Tiny House Simulator. I will not stick around in chat. Um, I will uh, say my hello raiding, uh, but ill rushing away. Um, if you are subscribed, drop a raid in. If if you are subscribed, drop a raid emote on arrival. If you are unsubscribed, take a raid message. I've just put them in chat. The jurors benefit. There is a singular. There is a singular raid message that I've also just put in chat. Jura, so you don't have to copy that entire thing. Um, I really should just do one. Like I, ju I should just decide on one because I know dealing with that. I know dealing with that message on mobile is not the best. Um, only a few hours until the new backrooms update. So Kara, or oh, actually, that reminds me. That reminds me. That reminds me. Um, there are various collabs that I have in mind right now. Um, I have to pick up chain together with Jura. I want to do the the escape the backrooms with Happily Ever Kara. We've streamed with them before. Because of COVID, I had to cancel my stream with Drunk Degenerates. I want to collab with Jim. Pick a game. Sanguine, pick a game. And we'll talk about it. Drunk Degenerates. And I was going to do a Halloween stream with Vulcan Ryan, but we've also we've also cancelled that because of my recovery from COVID. So collabs will be returning when I get over this little hump of things that are happening. Um, so look forward to more co-op streams in the future. But in the meantime, it will be business as usual. Um, we will be going to a Plague Tale Requiem tomorrow. If we finish that on Friday, we will be starting Detroit Beyond Human. Uh, Mass Effect 3. I'm really driven to finish Mass Effect 3. And yeah, well, we're, we're just going to keep going with this. This has been enlightening. Thank you very much for hanging out. Let's raid Bluish Meteor. Um, raid messages you've had. Take care of yourselves tomorrow for me. Make sure you drink plenty of water. For God's sake, do not lick any door handles because holy shit, that might end really badly for you and I would not wish COVID on my... Again, COVID, not great. In 2020, can't... Can't... I give... I give COVID a solid, like, zero out of ten. Is that how you got COVID? Honestly, honestly, last, last bit, last bit, last bit, last bit. If I knew how I got COVID, it would be fine. I have no idea. I have no idea how I got it, and that bothers me. It was either from the shops or it was from work. I don't know which one. I, people asked me and I couldn't tell them. I have no idea how I got it. Like, I've got no clue. Because... The last time I went into the shops before I had it, I was in and out of there like a shot, like real quick. And I didn't really, t because th they've changed everything around in the shop that I go to on a regular basis. I couldn't find what I wanted. I put I put my, I, I, I left. So I could only have got it from work, but nobody else is sick. I, I, it's gonna, it's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. I'll see you tomorrow. I, I can lick my own doorknobs. Okay. Good night.